Power Partners, Inside RC Revo, Texas Made. seen the pentathlon or the, the cadence or even the work he's done with with Mike Harrison on his harmony bike and things like that and even myself um, we did the aerial together back in 2018 um, so the Revo is just a, a newer model of the pentathlon cadence aerial it's kind of got a little bit of everything in it um, Mark was able to team up with a guy out of Houston um, that makes scale airplanes it's actually able to make these fuselages for him um, the airplane's mainly fiberglass. I mean, it has Eryx in it, and it's got some carbon and some a few places for strength. Um, as you can see, it's got Mark's traditional fin top and bottom on it here. Um, I've had the airplane um, since whew, maybe a couple of weeks or maybe a month before the team trials. Um, wasn't able to get as many flights on as I wanted to, um, but have since flown it a, a few more times. Um, Really enjoy the airplane. Um, Mark does a lot of hard work behind his design, um, and it shows in how the airplane flies. Um, this one has a built-up wing and built-up stab, um, so it's a built-up wing kit um, and then a built-up wing or built-up stab um, kit as well. Um, the current setup that I have in it is we're running BLS 171s on the ailerons um, and 3174s on the elevator. Um, I know Jason tried them on the elevator on his Epic and said they worked out fine and I had a few of them laying around so I decided to put them in this airplane. Also, I'm running a BLS 175 on the rudder. Um, with this not being my airplane, it's actually Chuck Holcalter's airplane. Um, it's just in my scheme, just in case we were gonna use it for the team trials. Um, it's got a Plettenberg up front and it's got a um, D3 speed controller up front as well. Um, Adam Dabowski actually modified the speed controller for me, so it's getting 7,000 RPM out of it. Um, and coupling that with a 2013 Falcon prop seems to be a, a pretty good combo for me there. Um, it's also got a Fatava 7108 um, receiver in it. Um, and everything else is pretty stock, so we'll, we'll do a little bit of showing you some details here and things that we've done. Um, with this airplane and um, hopefully get some flying video for you guys soon. So I wanted to give you guys a quick look here inside of the fuselage. Um, you can see the construction of the fuselage here um, actually really well. Um, the airplane has a ladder system going down the tail um, and instead of it being Depron like you would normally see in like say a BJ airplane, um, Mark found that if you just use balsa it's actually substantially stronger um, and right at the same weight. Um, so that kind of works out perfect for that. Um, also in here, we're using a, um, the battery tray I have in here is quarter inch Nomex that's sheeted on both sides with fiberglass. Um, it seems to work great, plenty strong, plenty light. Um, we got a removable battery tray system in here with the U-hook in the front and the removable U's in the back. Um, this airplane actually has um, adjusters front and back. Um, it seems to work out great. Um, right now we're flying the airplane at about 0.5 degrees of positive. Seems to be a happy place for the airplane. Um, it's got a single bolt tie down that comes with the airplane. Um, also something I did a little bit different on here and something that I do on most of my monoplanes is, and we, if you've seen my S bus video, you kind of know what I'm getting at here, but I have a six port terminal box here. And the way I mount it is where the aileron extensions come in. So that when the extensions come in from the wing, they plug into both sides of the terminal box there. Um, makes for a nice and clean setup. Um, like I said earlier, we have a 7008 receiver in there as well. Um, just a traditional monoplane setup like I discussed in my S-Bus video. Um, everything seems to, to work out pretty good in this airplane. One thing I will swivel over and show you guys here is Mark actually, with his airplane, is providing the Falcon landing gear and wheel pants with it. Um, which is a, a super nice touch. Um, that gear is, is next 
pretty much next to none um, and works out amazing and is amazingly light as well. So that's something to look forward to with the airplane. Um, the airplane also has an 85 millimeter spinner on it. This one has an 82 on it right now. I didn't have an 85 laying around when we got the airplane. Um, but an 85 millimeter spinner, Falcon seems to work the best on it. Um, so let's take a look at the wings and the stab and see what we're doing there. So just real quick here, guys, the wing kit for the Revo actually comes with the servo mounted horizontal instead of vertical, um, like you would normally see in most kits. Um, doesn't seem to have much of an effect on anything. Um, I can't say that I've seen any drawbacks from it. I can't say that I've seen any positives from it either. Um, on this setup, we're running a BLS 171 here with just the standard round, the large round wheel that comes with the servo. Also running Dubro ball links here. Um, these are gonna be the 256 version that actually um, are slotted for a four, uh, 440 size. Um, this is a Hangar 9 aluminum turnbuckle. Um, it's a two and a half inch turnbuckle. Um, and then we're also using Mike's blue um, control horns here. Seems to work out great. Um, haven't had any issues thus far with the setup. Um, nice and light. These wings panels were actually crazy light. I want to say they're like 11 ounces or less with the servo in them. Um, and that these, like I said, these are the built up versions um, and makes for a really good flying airplane. So guys, moving on to the tail, got a pretty standard monoplane setup here. Um, these stabs are actually built up. Um, and I believe, if I remember correctly, the rudder is built up as well. Um, and then monocoated, um, as you see it there. Um, these stabs came out incredibly light. I want to say they were about 73 grams monocoated with all the linkage and everything already there for it, which is incredibly light. Um, I'm running the 31, Fataba 3174. Um, S bus servo here. Um, again, just a standard Dubro ball links, Mike's blue control horns, and I believe this is a three inch um, turnbuckle. The kit comes where the servo actually mounts inside the fuselage or inside of the the elevator half, and then the arm comes up out of the top. I I don't see anything wrong with that. I'm just not a fan of setting that up. I'm not a fan of cutting that hole out there for the top for the servo to come, the servo arm to come out. So this works out a whole lot easier for me. Um, I like this. Um, so what I did to do that was I actually cut the slot for the servo. And then there's a plywood box that actually goes around the servo inside of the stab to actually give it some rigidity there. Um, also, we're running a BLS 175 on the rudder um, on push pull, as you see, running the large um, Fatala round wheel, the same as the ailerons. Um, this is a four inch pro link from Hangar 9 um, with the Dubro ball links and again Mike's control horn. Seems to have a very positive feel to it. Um, I'm going to pan up just a little bit here. We're also using Mike's F3A um, lightweight uh, tail wheel there. Uh, Mike Vila from F3A Unlimited of course. Um, it seems to be also working out pretty good. So guys, thanks for checking out the Inside RC Revo. Um, if you guys are very interested in this airplane, um, Mark Hunt's planning on selling a few of these. Um, I know there's a backlog right now. They're waiting on about six fuselages. Um, it's very hard to get a nice lightweight F3A model. And I know Mark has gone above and beyond to be able to do that. Um, this model actually weighs, I wanna say about nine and a half pounds with six thousands in it, which is incredibly light, nine and three quarter pounds. Um, I can't remember somewhere in between there, um, but it's incredibly light. Um, so that takes time. Um, and that's something that I know is hard for some people to understand that um, these models aren't crafted in the night. Um, so if you guys are interested, reach out to Mark. Um, I'm sure he'll be happy to help you out with one of these. And hopefully we'll get you guys some flying videos here soon. Catch you on the next one.